Hi, my name is Joan Griswold and I am a researcher at the University of Washington where my colleagues and I are developing a new curriculum on type 2 diabetes. Your teacher is participating in our study, which also involves you, so I'd like to tell you a little bit more about it. We have developed two sister units to teach about type 2 diabetes, one for health class and one for biology class. The two units share some of the same concepts and lessons, but also have lessons created specifically for each class. We would like to know, first of all, how well each unit works to teach about diabetes for students who may see it in health class or biology class, and also the impact for individuals who may learn about diabetes in both health and biology classes, even if one class is a year later. We're also hoping that students take away information that they can use in their personal and family life. In order to do this, we are using a pre-test and post-test in our study design to help us find out what students learn from the lessons. So students take a pre-test, then spend a week or two learning about type 2 diabetes in either health class or biology class, and then take a post-test. The results are then returned to your teacher so that your teacher can use them as part of the class grade if they want to. We want you to know that your participation in this study is optional and voluntary, and we would like to ask for your consent to use the answers to your pre and post tests in our study. This will be the data we analyze that tells us if students are learning what we hope they are learning from the lessons. So when you take the pretest and the post-test, you will be asked to either opt in or opt out of the study. Whether you opt in or opt out, the data will still be returned to your teacher to use for grades. If you opt in, we will include your answers in the study data set. And if you opt out, we will remove your answers from the study data set. We ask for your consent on both the pretest and the post-test so that if you opt in on the pretest and then change your mind, you can opt out on the post-test. In fact, you can change your mind at any time during this study and let us know by contacting us directly. There is a parent letter describing the study for you to take home and our contact information is on that letter. It's also available through your teacher and found on the last slide of this presentation. The consent is built right into the survey, and this is what the first page of the test looks like. After reading the information, you can check yes or no. We do collect some personal information on the test, such as your name, your district ID, and your birth date. We use this to match your pretest with your post-test. Once these records are matched, we then send the scores to your teacher. At that point, we remove your personal information and assign a new study ID that we use when we analyze your data. We protect the information you've given us by using the study ID for all of our analyses and keeping your personal information locked away until the end of the study when it's destroyed. Your name and other personal information will never be associated with your answers in any of the analyses that we do as part of the research study. Some risks in participation are you may feel uncomfortable answering questions on topics you have not been taught, especially for the pretest. We would also like you to know that each test has questions pertaining to both health and biology, so you will be asked about things that you were not taught in your particular class. Your answers to these questions are not counted against you for your score, and it's expected that you won't know everything on your test. There are also some risks around the privacy and confidentiality of your personal information, which is why we store the information securely and destroy it at the end of the study. Some benefits to you are that you may learn something about type 2 diabetes, and you will also receive a heat-sensitive pencil as a thank you for your participation. Some frequently asked questions about this, number one is, do I have to take the test? And the answer to that is yes because your teacher will be, will be receiving the data that they can use for a grade if they want to. You may, however, opt out of having your answers used in the research study. It's an online test, so you can use a computer or even your phone. Uh, it's 45 multiple choice questions, followed by some questions about attitude and demographics. It takes most people between 10 and 20, or 15 and 25 minutes, and if you don't know an answer to, the, to a question, we ask that you choose the I don't know option. 
That's it. Thank you for considering participation in our research study. If you or your parents have any questions at all, here is my contact information, including my cell phone number. Thank you very much for your time and attention.